Joe is one of the best game engines nowadays, capable of doing 2D games for beginners to more complex 3D games Joe's popularity is racing. With the new version Gujo 4 and its features, its popularity even got better. In this video, I will show you how to easily download Gujo 4 in your device and I will teach you some basic concepts of this phenomenal engine. Are you ready to start creating incredible games easily with Gujo? So, in order to start with the download of Gujo, uh, we are going to go to the official website of Gujo.engine.org and here uh, we would be in the official website of Godot and uh, the website may look a little different uh, they are always updating the site where the buttons are and everything but well uh, the most important and uh, first thing you should know is that nowadays there are uh, two main versions of Godot uh, Godot 3 and Godot 4 in this case we have Godot 402 and Godot 352 of course uh, these two last numbers uh, may change depending on when you are watching this video. Also here in the website, if you scroll down a little bit, uh, you will find the latest news uh, about Gujo. Also of course some information about Gujo, about how it works, how to donate. But uh, the important thing here uh, is actually the download section we can see here at the top right. If we click it, uh, First of all, it tells me download Gujo 4 for Windows, so in my case I'm in Windows, uh, but if you are uh, on another platform, for example, even you can download Gujo in Android because it's currently available on Play Store, looking for other platforms, see below, so we will click there, and as you can see, the only thing that does this button is scroll until uh, the bottom of the page. And here you can see all the supported platforms, which includes Android, Linux, Mac, Windows, and even it has uh, a very nice web editor. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to download the version for Windows, but in a previous video, uh, we saw how to download a uh, good job for, uh, for Play Store. You can see this is the official Play Store. Uh, but in this case, as I am in Windows, I'm going to download the Gujo 4 for Windows. If you can see it here, you will go, you will scroll down just a little bit, and here you will find all the platforms available. Also, um, if you want to download a uh, Gujo 4 or a uh, Gujo 3, you have the uh, version with C Sharp support. Uh, or the standard version with uh, GDScript. Well, with this version, you can also use uh, GDScript, but it also has C Sharp support. So if you are only planning on using uh, GDScript, you are not going to use C Sharp. Probably the standard version will be okay for you. Or if you literally don't know which language you are going to use, just start with GDScript. Uh, that means you will use the standard version. Also, you have the long term support version long-term support version stands for LTS and you can do download a uh, Gujo 3. Gujo 3 let's say it's more stable doesn't have uh, a lot of bugs errors crashes but uh, as soon as I know and I've been trying now a uh, Gujo 4 is currently doing very well so now that you should know which version you are going to download and the uh, you know how to download them uh, in this case, I'm going to download Gujo 4 because it's the newest one. So I'm going to click here Gujo Engine. And here you can see that it's currently under download. Something very important about Gujo is that it's completely free. And if you, for example, release a game and the game you made with Gujo starts earning a lot of money, you will have to pay nothing to Gujo because uh, Gujo survives, let's say, uh, thanks to optional donations you can make from its website as you can see okay so now i have this uh, zip file here and i have to extract it okay you can use winrar uh, 7zip or literally any other software that is available to extract our files so i'm going to click here extract here uh, Gujo uh, is a very low requirements um a very low requirements uh, software and also, uh, as you can see, it's, it's only one, 110 megabytes, so you don't need a lot of empty space. And this is a, a portable version, which means you have to install nothing. Literally, if I just double click this one, uh, it will open up Gujo 4. As you can see, everything is uh, very, very fast. 
and the first thing that shows up as soon as you open good job you currently don't have any projects of course because i just installed it would you like to explore official example projects in the library open salary or well uh, you can cancel this thing so uh, this is the first interface of Gujo. We have here the local projects window and the assets library project. So here I, uh, we have basically uh, some projects we can use as a template or from here local projects we can obviously create our own project. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new project but you can also import an existing uh, project. I'm going to name this project, I don't know, tutorial uh, Gujo 4 for example. And I'm going to create a folder in this project path and here uh, you can also select the renderer I'm going to leave the default renderer that in this case is forward plus and I'm going to click create an edit I will just wait a couple of seconds uh, something very nice about Gujo uh, both version Gujo 3 and Gujo 4 that are versions that are very fast as you can see in just a couple of seconds we have our project open and we can uh, start coding anything we want whereas for example in unity it takes about a minute or something like that to just open a project first thing first um, we have the scene window here the hierarchy the file system where all, uh, where all of our files are the inspector window from which we can modify some properties of the inspector of the of the node sorry uh, so here for example if i create here a camera a camera 2d you can see here in the inspector i can modify the different properties uh, but in this case what i'm going to do is to create a standard 2d sim i'm going to name it for example main <laughs> and now i'm going to just save this scene as you can see now it appears in our file system and uh, to this main game object, which literally is a node to this, so this has nothing, nothing inside of it. Uh, I'm going to create a new script with an object empty template. I'm going to do something very, very simple. I'm going to call the ready function. If you don't know what the ready function is, um, it's basically the function, the lines of code that we put here will be called as soon as we press the play button. So if we, for example, here uh, put print and a message, let's say, for example, subscribe. As soon as we start playing, I'm going to select this as my current scene, as my main scene. You, you will see here my message subscribe. OK, so that's very, very simple. Or, well, another function that is important to know uh, is the process delta So func process process delta and if I decide here to print again the same message subscribe and I press play you will see here that continuously a my message subscribe is being printed finally another thing I'm going to be doing a uh, very simply I'm going to add here a sprite and to this sprite, I'm going to attach just the default icon. I'm going to put it, let's say, in the center of the screen. I'm going to attach another script to the um, sprite. And uh, in the ready function, remember that the ready function is called as soon as we start playing. I'm going to graph my modulate, which basically the modulate, if we see it, in the scene, we have the sprite to be selected here in the inspector. We'll see here uh, under visibility, I think it was, yes, modulate. And this is basically the color of our game object. For example, we can change it to, I don't know, something like a blue, uh, to a pink, to a red, to anything we would like. Um, but I'm going just to leave it as default in white. Well, uh, they are <laughs> in black, for example. Well, I'm going to start it so that we can see the icon. <clears throat> but here, uh, as soon as we start playing, I would like to change the, mod the modulate to uh, color dot, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, green. Okay, dark green, for example. So now when we play, we can see that our 
um, icon is now green and also we can see that constantly we have our subscribe message being printed because of the script we had created before that is currently printing subscriber if we for example delete these lines of code or uh, delete the script okay now you can see that no message is printed but uh, our icon color is changed so uh, now you should be able to download Godot 3 or Godot 4 you also uh, learned about basic stuff here in Godot and I hope this video was very helpful for you if it was please consider subscribing to the channel so that YouTube will send you a notification anytime I upload a new video and see you on the next one. Bye bye.